Behold the power of states of matter! Greetings, science maximites! <coughs> I'm Phil McCordick. <coughs> I think I overdid it with the fog machine. <sighs> this is Science Max, experiments at large. Can you even see me? Let's, let's go over here. Today we're talking about states of matter. Now there are three main states of matter. Solid, like this table. Liquid, like the water in this beaker. And gas. Yes, thank you. And we're also going to be looking at the things that kind of go in between. Things that are sometimes solid, sometimes liquid. Like cornstarch mud, which is very easy to make. All you need is water and cornstarch, which you can get at the grocery store. Mix it up however much you want. Just remember, two parts cornstarch to one part water. Twice as much of this, then you have of that. Very easy. Mix it up, and you get cornstarch mud, which sort of seems like a liquid unless you hit it. And then it becomes solid. But if I pour it, it's a liquid. Even if I hold it in my hand and I hit it really fast, it turns into a ball. And it will stay in a ball as long as I keep hitting it or squeezing it. But as soon as I stop, it turns into a liquid again. Now we're going to max this out. We'll go through the portal and learn more about solids, liquids, and gases. Yeah, right. That's why I'm going to the Center for Skills Development and Training at... Oh, no, wait, that's the code for the fog machine. Wait, uh, stop. Stop. It seems to be stuck. Oh, uh, never mind, never mind. Uh, I'll fix it later. Right. Hey, Judy, how are you? Hi, Phil, how are you? Good. Judy is going for her PhD in chemistry, right? Yes. Fantastic, because that means you can explain cornstarch mud to me. Now, is this a solid or is it a liquid? Well, it kind of has properties of both. It's called a non-Newtonian fluid, uh -huh. so that makes it a liquid. A liquid. Well, I mean, it pours like a liquid, but when you hit it, it's a solid. So why does it turn solid when you hit it? So when you're pouring it, the particles are still far apart, uh -huh. so they can't interact with each other, and so they stay a liquid. But when you're hitting it, you're jamming the particles together, and they line up to become a solid. Now, does it still work the same way if we have a lot more of it? Uh, it should. Great, because I've got this 20 kilogram bag of cornstarch, and I have 34 more of them. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, but I think you will need a much bigger container. N much bigger container. Great. Um, I got some wood over there. I want you to go, and I'll follow you. All right. I'll follow you. <sighs> I got. I'm coming. I'm coming. <sighs> Thanks, Ramona. And give me one of them fizzy drinks. Not too fizzy, just sort of medium fizzy. Thanks a lot. Hello. Do you have trouble knowing what is a solid, liquid, or gas? Are you confused by jello? I mean, which is it? Is it a solid or is it a liquid? Water is a liquid, but what about when it's ice? Well, you got to know your states of matter. There are three main states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. And there are three rules that you need to figure out which one of them is which. Does it flow? Does it fit the shape of its container? And can you squeeze it? Rule number one, does it flow? Solid, liquid, gas. Here's a gas. Does it flow? Do the particles fall over each other and cascade down? Yeah, yeah, they do. Does a liquid flow? Yeah, yeah, it does. Does a solid? Nope. Rule number two, what happens when you put it in a container? Does it take the shape of the container? Gases take the shape of the container. Liquids take the shape of the container. Solids do not take the shape of their container. No! I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I get the whole pouring and taking the shape of the container, but come on. Liquids and gases, they do both of those things. Well, it all comes down to rule number three. Can you squeeze it? Now, solids, you, you can't you can't really squeeze them. Liquids, you can't really squeeze them. Gases, ha-ha, bam, you can squeeze them. You see, gases compress. Liquids and solids, they don't really compress very well. The other difference between gases and liquids is gases will take the shape and the volume of the container they're put in. Liquids don't do that. So there you go. Solids. Liquid gas. And the rules. Does it flow? Does it take the shape of the container? And can you squeeze it? Now you know this thing's of matter. That'll be 650.
cash only. So what is cornstarch mud and how does it work? Well, cornstarch mud is a non-Newtonian fluid, which means it behaves differently than you or Newton would expect. Here's cornstarch and here's water. Cornstarch is made up of large blocky molecules like this. Water is made up of much smaller, rounder molecules like this. When you put them together, it looks something like this. It all has to do with how the molecules slide past each other. When you put light pressure or slow pressure on the mud, the water molecules and cornstarch molecules have time to shift out of the way. But when you put a sudden pressure on it, the water molecules squirt out of the way, but the cornstarch molecules don't have enough time. So you get a section that's nearly all cornstarch, which acts as a solid. Cornstarch mud is a shear thickening fluid. Shear is talking about the force of things sliding around, in this case, the molecules. So when the shear force is strong, the fluid thickens. Shear thickening. So here's the plan. If Judy and I make enough cornstarch mud, could we run across it? Let's find out. Hey, you little bookworms out there. Shakespeare? Want to meet some classic heroes like Hamlet? To be or not to be. Or Odysseus. Or even David fighting Goliath. Then follow Fiesta Z into her dreamland adventures. But be aware, she never wakes up early. Because dreaming has never been more fun. Watch Fiesta Z, only on Da Vinci. Scanning. Wait. Access granted to the One Stop Science Shop. The place where we try to answer all your science-related questions. Now, the adventure starts. Test out the coolest experiment. Yes. Wow, that's great. Explore the work and life of the greatest scientists and make extraordinary discoveries. This is so exciting. Wow. Wow. Welcome to the One Stop Science Shop. Jump off your couch and join the ride. We're going on an adventure to the weird and wonderful corners of the globe. We'll see some amazing sights, try the local cuisine, and come face to face with the Earth's most rare, dangerous, and spooky animals. But don't be scared, we'll make some friends too. Take some snapshots, because this trip will get your pulse racing and you won't want to forget it. So stop dreaming. The party started and you're invited. Check out Who's There only on Da Vinci. Do you trust everything you can see with your eyes? And what about everything your ears can hear? Is everything that your mind tells you is real, really there? Maybe you should look twice to discover the amazing tricks your brain can play with you. Discover them all in MindWorks. Yeah, I think mine is just the right consistency. How's yours, Judy? I think I'm ready, too. This is much harder than I thought. Yeah, it's really hard to get it mixed at the very beginning, but uh, yeah. mine is ready to go. Okay, here we go. Okay. First batch. You ready? Yep. Dump it in. Woo! Woo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. I thought that would be more. I thought so, too. It's really not filling this up very much, is it? No. Huh. That's a lot of cornstarch. This is, um... This is great, but I think we're going to have to go a little faster than this. I think we need some sort of mixing device. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to do this by hand. We can get some sort of machine to help us. Yeah. Right on. High five. Oh. <coughs> uh, we shouldn't high five when we have this stuff on our hands. Nope. Yeah, good call. Mmm, this science is delicious. This is rock candy. It's basically crystallized sugar, and you make it by turning a solid into a liquid and then back to a solid again. Here's how you can make it at home. You need a container that you're not gonna need for a while, and some water, some sugar. You can use brown or white. I like to use brown. And an adult. Here's why you need an adult. 
You want to dissolve three cups of sugar into every cup of water. And you can't do that unless you heat the water. So get an adult, a saucepan, and heat the water up, pour the sugar in, and keep stirring until it's all dissolved. Then pour it in your container and let it cool down. Then you'll need a shish kebab skewer, which is something you can get at the grocery store. Cut it down to the right size so it fits nicely into your container. And then dunk it in your sugar and get some crystals coated around the stick. These are seed crystals and they get the whole process started. And now you have to wait for these to dry, otherwise they'll just fall off the stick when you put it in the water. So I've got one here that has dried out. You'll also want something to keep it from falling in the top of the container, so I'm gonna use a clothespin. Put it in there and dunk it in the container like that. And now for the final step, if you want, you can add food coloring. I like to use red because it reminds me of science. And I'm gonna use the stick to actually stir that up a little bit. There we go. Now, the dissolved sugar crystals in the water will slowly grow on the crystals that are already attached to the stick, and it will eventually grow into a rock candy pop. But it takes about a week. No, I'm just kidding. I've already got one that's standing by. Here we go. This one has been growing for about seven days. And there you go, rock candy. Delicious science. Now, how could we make this any better? I mean, it's crystallized sugar. It doesn't get any more maxed out than that, does it? Yeah, it does, come on. This is a giant container of sugar water, and I've been brewing a massive rock candy <clears throat> crystal in it for a while, but <clears throat> it's sort of, <clears throat> it's sort of getting a little bit too big to fit out the top of the container, so, <clears throat> um, you know what, I'm just gonna, Put that back in there and chalk that one up to science because, well, eating a rock candy crystal that big would definitely not be good for my teeth, so, yeah. So our big experiment is to take a whole lot of cornstarch and fill a trough to see if we can run on it. But mixing it by hand was going to take forever. So Judy and I got a drill with a mixing attachment on the end. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> All right, so Judy, I'm noticing a bit of a problem here. What is it? Well, if I mix at the top, everything's fine. But as soon as I get it a little bit deeper, and then it gets really tough, and the whole bucket starts to spin, and the drill stops. Yeah, I think it's because the drill's trying to mix it too fast. When we're mixing it by hand, it's slow, and you can still let it stay a liquid, but now you're just making a solid. Right, because it's a sheer thickening fluid, exactly. so if you hit it really quickly with something, like the blades of this spinning really quickly in the thing, it'll suddenly turn into a solid, and it'll be really hard to mix. Yep. So we go slow. Going slow. Going slow. Suddenly realizing that if we go slow, We'll be here forever. Yep. You know what I think we need? Oh, sorry. You know what I think we need? We need a different way to mix this. Yep. We need a way to mix more of it, and we need a way that it doesn't hit it with blades that suddenly go through it really quickly. Something that can mix on a large scale, but slowly. I have just the thing. Come with me. All right. The interesting thing about bubbles is they're a gas surrounded by a liquid. So get some dish soap and some water, and then be science maximites and find things around the house that you can make bubbles out of. Just about anything that has holes will do. Or, mm -hmm. or I like this one. I call it the loud bubble. at the Ontario Science Centre, and this is Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Hey, how's it going? Good. So you are amazing at bubbles. Uh, I am. I've been practicing for a while. Let's get started. Okay. We're going to make an okie dokie sign like this. Uh -huh. We're going to dip it right into our bubble solution. Make, come on, get right in okay, there, right, right in, in there. Make sure you get it all up. That's, that's a little too much. Well, that's then good. I can make two. And then you're going to keep that okie dokie sign. You're going to blow very gently.
Nice. I brought these two giant sticks here, and I don't know if you noticed, but I've got a smoke machine here. Right. So we'll turn that on, and then if you press that green button there, you're gonna shoot some smoke, and we're gonna try to catch that smoke in a giant bubble. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna try to... Oh, that was so close. Did you see that one? You give it a shot. Nice! Oh, yeah. that was amazing! <laughs> that was huge! Try it again. Let's see if I can get the smoke so, machine. Here we go. Go for it, go for it. Push right towards. Oh, check that out! You did it! Look at that! Look at that! No. Smoke, and it yeah. bounces! It bounces on the floor because the floor, it doesn't have any oils like our hands do. Isn't that amazing? That oh, great. my God, that was so cool. That was great. You know what I think we should do? What's that? Giant bubble, tons of smoke. Done. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. You ready? Giant bubble, tons of smoke. Go! Yeah. Awesome! Oh, my God. <laughs> look at that! Oh, man. Look at that! That's crazy! Max out bubble! Well, there you go! Giant smoke-filled bubbles! Awesome! Yeah! Judy and I tried mixing the cornstarch mud using a drill with a mixer attachment, but it didn't work. We should have known better. Here's the mixer in our cornstarch mud. Usually, a mixer works by going really fast and mixing everything together. But remember that cornstarch mud is a sheer thickening fluid. So, when the blades of the mixer tried to go fast through the cornstarch mud, it did what it always does, turn solid. The faster and harder you try to move it, the more solid it will become. This means the only way to mix it would be if we made the drill go very, very slow which wouldn't speed things up at all. So with the drill another lost cause, Judy and I need the biggest thing around that could mix stuff up. Come on back. Good. A little bit more. Perfect. <laughs> a cement truck, a cement truck is the perfect thing to mix because all we have to do is get all the cornstarch up in here and it'll mix it and it doesn't move it too fast. It goes nice and slow, so hopefully a sheer thickening fluid will be fine. I'm gonna get Judy. She's driving the truck. Hey, Judy, that's perfect. The only problem is we needed to get all of those bags of cornstarch into the hopper of the cement truck. I didn't think it would be this messy. <sighs> We needed to call the entire Science Max build team to help us out. This is possibly the messiest thing I've ever done. Awesome! Woo. Hey Judy, you wanna you wanna lift up any bags? I'm okay, thanks. That's okay. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, so uh, I can do them. Cool. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I got most of it. I got most of it. All right, I think we're done. I think that's enough bags. Let's start the mixing. So, what do you think, Judy? Do you think it's gonna work? I think so, because you're mixing at a very large volume, but at a very low speed. Yep. So throughout the process, it'll stay a liquid until we're ready to run across it. That sounds exactly like the kind of science I like to see. You know what I really like is that every time I move, more cornstarch comes off. It's like, it's like I'm a human fog machine. This is liquid nitrogen. Nitrogen makes up most of the air we breathe, but if you get it really, really cold, it turns into a liquid. The fun thing is you can use it to make other things really, really cold too, like this banana. I have frozen this banana solid thanks to the liquid nitrogen. And normally, a mushy banana would not be able to hammer in a nail, but, whoa, because it's frozen, I can hammer this nail into this block of wood. So that caught me wondering, if I can turn a banana into a hammer using liquid nitrogen, could I turn a pumpkin into a sledgehammer? Let's find out. Pumpkin sledgehammer, take one. No. I, I think the answer is no. You cannot turn a pumpkin into a sledgehammer with liquid nitrogen. All you can do is make a really, really big mess. I'm going to have to clean this up, aren't I? Now we have a cement truck to help us do the mixing for our cornstarch mud. 
After making a giant mess getting the cornstarch into the cement truck, it's time to see if it worked. Hey, Phil, how's it going? Yeah, it looks like it's mixing pretty well. I'm really glad we are not doing this by hand. Because it take a, did it take a really long time. We've almost got it at the right consistency, but it's taken some time. But it's getting a little dark out, Judy. I don't know, do you, do you want to quit and go home? No, of course not. That's not what we do in science. Oh, here we go. Yeah! Awesome! All right, let's see it. Let's see if it's... I like how it comes down in little steps. And look, it's still... It's working just like it should. I hit it, and it's solid, but you can see it's pouring like a liquid. Yeah, here comes a big wave. Wow. Here it comes. Oh! Wow! <laughs> And it's totally filling up. Oh, yeah. It's filling up really fast. I think we should stop pouring very soon. Yep, we may not have a big enough trough. Yep. Hey, I'm liking it. It's good. Yeah. I think it's time. It's not even done pouring, but I'm going to try it. Okay, you ready? Whoa. <laughs> oh, and you did it! You have to get back onto the sides before you stop moving. Or else it becomes a liquid. All right, it's your turn. Okay. Here. Go. Okay, ready? Okay. You gotta, you gotta hit your feet really fast. All right. Here you go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> because cornstarch mud is a sheer thickening fluid, it means it stays a liquid until you hit it suddenly, like with your hands, or in this case, our feet. And then it turns to a solid. So as long as Judy and I keep slapping our feet down with enough force, we can walk on top of it. One more dance. All right. And let's tell do you what, it. we'll do one more dance. All right, let's do that. Okay, ready? All right. And, and go. All right. All right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We've done it. Solid liquid gases. Thanks very much for joining us on Science Match Experiments at Large. Woo! Hey, Judy, catch. <laughs> I have to be careful because the banana will shatter if I'm not careful. I think it's stuck on the bottom. I call this one the loud bubble. Oh, well. Uh, I call this one the loud bubble. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs>